Hey guys, sorry Bryson here, and you know something guys? Some things on this planet just don't make any sense, and I stopped trying to understand them a long time ago. For example, when I was in college, and I graduated with a degree after four years, I was like, well, I'm set, where's my accountant job? And then I started applying, and every single job I applied for was like, hey, you got the degree, great, but we also need four years of experience. And I was like, well, I can't get experience if you guys are not gonna hire me, okay? Because I have the degree, but I can't get experience unless I get hired by you guys. So, makes absolutely no sense. Now, why is this relevant? Same thing with credit, am I right? Oh, I wanna build credit. I'm gonna sign up for a credit card. And when I sign up for the credit card, I get rejected. Why? Because <laughs> you have no credit. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to build credit. Yeah, but we can't help you build credit unless you have credit. What? Like, how does that actually make sense? The answer is it doesn't. So in this video right here, to make sure you don't start applying for a credit card and for loans and get rejected and even make things even worse, I found three different unique ways to go out there and build credit. And by the way, some of these ways are gonna cost like $25, $50, but most of the time you're gonna get your money back and some of these ways are going to be free So before you click off the video because I know you don't worry. I got you. Okay. I got you Don't worry about it. If you guys are new here like this video on top of that also subscribe and hit the bell to get notified So the very first way to go out there and build credit without credit Obviously is going to be by getting a secured credit card now what is this? How does it work? Is it free? Break it down, Tommy. The answer is, you know how you get a, a normal credit card? You apply for it, you get it, you have a credit limit in there. That money is the bank's money. So if you don't pay, they take on all the risk. But with a secure credit card, the money in there is you making a deposit. So your credit line, a big portion of it, or portion, I speak English, guys. A big portion of it is going to be your deposit, and a little portion of it is just going to be, for example, what the bank is willing to risk on you. So I might get this secure credit card. I put down a deposit of $200. The bank says I'll put down 50, and my credit line is 250. So if I don't pay, guess who loses? The answer is I am going to lose because I'm putting my money forward. So this way the bank seems more confident. And by the way, it makes sense why they don't give you a credit card without having credit, even though you want to build credit. It's because imagine coming to me and you're like, well, I need money. And I'm like, well, can you prove to me that you're actually good at paying money back? And you're like, no, I can't prove it to you, but just trust me. The answer is I don't trust people like that. Okay. Like, I got trust issues, okay? So that's why they basically do it this way. But Tommy, what are the best secure credit cards out there and which ones do you actually recommend? Well, I recommend four. Yeah, I got some options for you guys, okay? The first one is gonna be the Capital One Platinum Secure Credit Card. I know the name sounds popular, sounds cool, but it has nothing, no cash back, no nothing. It's just a credit card for you to go out there and try to build some credit. And the good thing is that once you're done, having this credit card, again, the Capital One Platinum Secure Credit Card. When you apply for this one, go on Google, search it up, and when you apply for this one, you put down like a $50 deposit, 150, and then you basically have it, you build it up, and then you upgrade to a no more Capital One card where the bank is taking all the risks and you no longer have to have your deposit in there, but don't worry, you get the deposit back once you close the account, but don't close the account until you open up the new credit card because the worst thing to do is to close the account with the credit information and history, and then you have a problem with your credit score. You don't wanna do that. So get the credit card first. Once you have it, then you can go ahead and close it down if you need the money right away. Or if not, just use both of them, and that way you get to build even more credit even faster. The second secure credit card is going to be the Discover It secure credit card, which is, by the way, one of my favorite credit cards ever, but they are a little picky. I gotta be honest. Although it is a secure credit card, sometimes they do reject you. So if by chance you do get rejected, and by the way, I recommend apply for the Capital One first, not the Discover One first. Well, if you do get rejected, for example, by the Discover One, what you wanna do is simple. When you get the rejection letter or the email, stop crying, just call them and say, hey, you rejected me. No, I don't say that. Just say, hey, um, I noticed you guys rejected my application. I wanted to know why. And they'll tell you, well, you know, you might not have this credit history. You not might have that. And you're like, I understand that. Um, the thing is, I have a job, so I have some income. I can actually prove that to you. And on top of that, 
I actually saved my money and I want to build credit and I just basically want to put the full deposit in if that's possible. So this way you guys take on no risk. But my goal is to build credit. I have a job. I'm going to school or whatever. They're not really going to confirm anything. You know what I'm saying? But be honest. Be honest, and don't make up this crazy income that I make six thousand dollars a year, and you're like working at McDonald's. Like, don't lie about that stuff because these days they tend to verify sometimes. So you want to be careful with that when it comes to lying on a credit card application. I just wouldn't do it honestly. I don't like lying. But yeah, Discovery credit card, pretty good. If they reject you, call them and basically kind of say, hey, here's why I am a good person to actually get this credit card, and here's why you shouldn't be worried about taking on any risks. That's the idea. Now, the third one is for people that have bankruptcies, collections, terrible credit scores, everything, okay? This is called the Open Sky um, Secured Credit Card. And this one requires no, <laughs> no credit check, no bank account, no nothing. But it does have an annual fee of around like $40 or $35 or $39. The answer is it costs money to use this one. But if you have a terrible credit score and you want to rebuild it, the answer is this is what you got to do. Now, number four is called the Pedal 2 Secure. Well, it's not really a secure credit card. It's just a normal credit card. So I, I can't really include it here, but I kind of want to include it. So I'm going to include it. But it's the Pedal um, credit card. And it's basically like a credit builder account, but it does have cash back attached to it between 1% to 1.5%. And they increase it by you making on-time payments. And the credit limit is between 300 to 10,000, I think. So not bad if you ask me. You start off small, you build up, and you will be good. But again, a lot of these credit builder accounts, if it's not open sky, they will reject you if you have bad credit. There's a difference from having no credit or little credit history and having bad credit. Bad credit tells me, you messed up in the past, and I got to keep an eye open for you. So look out for this stuff. So be careful. I wouldn't apply for Capital One, Discover, or the Pedal Card. I would just get the Open Sky one. But don't worry, I have more options coming up right now. So this right here might be actually able to help you out a lot more. So here are your options. For example, if you're new to credits, or if you just have like bad credit, but you still want to build your credit up, right? Or just fix it up a little bit. And this is through, for example, a credit builder account. Tommy, what is a credit builder account? Well, it's simple. But it's confusing because sometimes people think they're going to get money, but they're not actually going to get any money. Now, the idea is, okay, this business provides a service. And the service is to help you build credits by basically um, reporting the payments you're actually making on a loan that you actually never got. Confusing, I know, but let me explain it. You come to me, I'm the company, and you're like, I want to build credits. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to help you build credits. So here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to give you a loan for $1,000. This money is going to be kept in a CD, okay? Meaning you have no access to this money whatsoever. But you are going to make payments as if you're going to be paying this off in 12 months, in 24 months, or for example, sometimes even 10 years or 6 years or 5 years. doesn't really matter. It's up to you. And the idea is as you're making these payments towards a loan you never actually got the cash on, I'm actually going to go ahead and report those payments to all three credit bureaus and actually start building up your credit step by step. So for the cost of 15 bucks per month, to $30 to 150 per month, you actually get to build your credit score. And you might say, Tommy, what the, f I'm not gonna pay that much money. The answer is, well, because you never actually got the money, the money you're actually paying them, they're actually going to return it to you minus fees at the end of the year. And the fees might be anywhere from $40 to 150. We're usually like not that much money. So you're looking at, hey, I sent over $15 every single month, right? So again, let's say $25, right? So $25 for 12 months, I have $300 in there. They take, for example, a $50 fee minus $9 for the startup fee, and you get back $241 at the end of the year, but you also have, for example, 12 months of consistent payments that's actually going to help you out a lot. And if you cancel, you'll be fine. Now, Tommy, where do I go for this stuff? Okay, well, I have two options for you, not three. I'm sorry if you care about the number three, but I just got two for you. Um, the first one is called Self, and they have like a little fee of $9, and they have a few fees here and there, so you want to review it to make sure everything's solid. By the way, just so you know, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, so by me telling you this, it's because I did my research, I know the company, and I'm telling you it's a solid company, so don't worry about getting scammed that far, okay? You won't get scammed with anything I'm saying in this video. 
But self, they do this stuff, they do it very well, and I've done videos on them in the past, and they've actually improved the service a lot more. They actually listen. And <laughs> they changed their name because it was Self Lender. I made a video calling it a scam, and then they changed it to Self after making adjustments and making everything solid. So I don't have to change it because of me, but it's definitely a better company today. So you can start with like $25 a month and you build credit at the end of the year, you get that money back. The second option is going to be Credit Strong. They've been around for a very long time. Again, just Google it, Credit Strong, and you're able to start with $15 to $25 for 120 months or shorter periods or longer periods. It's all up to you. But remember, don't get it twisted. You will not get this money, okay? You will not get a $1,000 loan. The money is kept in a CD usually, and at the end of the year, what you actually get is the money you actually pay them. You get it? That's how it works. So people expect to get like, hey, I got qualified for the loan. Where's the money? That's not how it works. You're not going to get that money, okay? It's just to build up your credit. Now, the third and final way to build credit, I told you guys, okay, this video is just packed with a lot of ways to build credit if you got no credit because, come on, like, I wish I saw this video when I was growing up, okay? But the answer is, is through bank accounts. And yes, you heard me correctly. Some bank accounts out there, in order to stay competitive and offer you services, you're gonna stay with them and all that stuff, they're offering you ways to actually build credit. My favorite one, honestly, is the Chime app, okay? And I used to hate this app so much because it was just like so extra, but they have improved a lot. And that's what I like about companies that basically make improvements. Now, the Chime app works very simple, okay? It requires no credit check, none of that stuff, but the answer is, say for example, I have $10,000 in my check-ins and I wanna move $1,000 or $20 or $100 into the credit builder account. Well, with that money, I'm able to actually spend like a credit card and then pay it, and they're gonna report that to basically the credit bureaus to actually help me build credits. And yes, it is free, so don't worry about that. You also have Money Lion. I'm not a big fan of Money Lion, honestly, so I say it to say it's an option, but I'm not even gonna mention the details because in reality, they have a lot of fees and I'm not a big fan of fees, so um, there you go. Money line is an option, but it's not the option that I would consider. But my job is to tell you stuff so you know, do your own research, but again, I personally wouldn't use it. Just my opinion, don't sue me. Now, the third option is actually credit unions. There are some credit unions out there, do your research, that actually offer credit builder accounts. Credit unions use, and by the way, sometimes credit unions actually will do their best to actually qualify you for a normal credit card or secure credit card because they're a lot more one-on-one. So if you have a credit union, and no, you don't have to be a part of a union, you don't have to be special, just by depositing like a $5 donation to a charity, you are not a part of a credit union depending on which one you're actually trying to get, okay? But that's the idea, guys, okay? Overall, I hope this video helped you. So you don't need to buy a mattress to build credit. You don't need to buy an oven to build credit. And these are all ways to do it in a fraction of a second, just like that starting today. And in three to six months, you will come back to this video and tell me, Tommy, my credit score went up. Now, if you are watching this video to this point, I always wait until the end because you guys are special because you made it all the way to the end. So here's my tip to make sure you don't go into crazy debt and basically just ruin your entire life because this is a dangerous game. And I don't play this game that often anymore. So the answer is, if you wanna build credit without the debt, what you wanna do is this. Whatever account you get qualified for, whether it's through Chime, whether it's through Capital One, Discover, um, um, Open Sky, or the pedal card, to build credit, you don't have to max it out every single month, okay? What you wanna do is just put one little bill on it, a recurring bill. So for me, that might be Netflix, my phone bill, it might be my internet bill, my light bill. Just one little bill that comes in every single month and is charged to that credit card. And then set the credit card to pay itself in full every single month. What happens here is every month is going to register a balance. And every month you're gonna pay it off in full, which basically is a payment sent over to the credit bureaus, which is going to help build your credit. And also keep your credit utilization basically low, which basically means if I have a $1,000 credit limit and I'm using all $1,000, that's not gonna help me. But if I have a $1,000 credit limit and I'm constantly using $15 and it's always at zero because I'm basically paying it off, that is gonna help you out a lot. That is my tip, guys, and I call this method the one bill method. If you made it all the way here, 
Comment down below one build method for the win. So this way I know you made it all the way to the end of the video. And on top of that, also smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to so get notified. And as always, if you want to call me, link down below to call me for free. If you want to DM me, DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. Up here, guess what it is? It's more content on investing or whatever the video is about. And up here is my face. Click it, subscribe. Peace out. Launching team officially out.